All right, good morning, everyone. Shh. Barry, good morning. <laughs> it is. Good morning, welcome. I am uh, Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, Chair of the Land Use Committee. I want to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee and are with us today. We have Councilmember Gibson, Deutsch, Chair Kalos, King, Kuhl, Landsman, Richards, Torres, Gredenchik, Chair Adams, and Chair Moya and Councilmember Rivera. I want to thank Chair Moya and Councilmember Gredenchik who filled in for him for part of yesterday's hearing and Chair Adams and Chair Kalos for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we'll be voting on a number of items referred out of our planning subcommittee. We'll be voting to approve LU 79 and the MPLP Uptown 6 Cluster in Councilmember Perkins' District in Manhattan, HPD 6 Urban Development Action Area Project, UDAP, approvals pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and approval of a new 40-year Article 11 tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of Private Housing Finance Laws, MPLP 6 Housing Development Fund. Corporation, HDFC, will purchase the city-owned properties and redevelop the six existing, partially occupied multifamily buildings to provide 81 affordable rental units, one superintendent unit, and five commercial units. During construction, current tenants, all of whom make between 11 and 29 percent of AMI, will be relocated within the buildings. Of the vacant apartments, eight will be set aside for formerly homeless households and the remainder will be rented for a price affordable to a family earning no more than 80% AMI. We will also be voting to approve LU80, the 615 West 150th Street cluster for properties in Councilmember Levine's District in Manhattan, HPD 6 Urban Development Action Area Project approvals pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and approval of a 40-year tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. The city will convey two partially occupied city-owned residential buildings to restoring communities HDFC. The tenants will be temporarily relocated while the buildings are being rehabbed. The buildings will then be conveyed to a cooperative HDFC formed by the building's tenants. Existing tenants will be able to purchase shares in the co-op for $2,500 per unit. Vacant apartments will be sold for a price affordable to a family earning no more than 165% AMI as, restrict, as restricted under the term sheets. However, the HPD regulatory agreement, which runs with the land, is more restrictive, calling for vacant units to be sold for a price affordable to a family making between 85 to 95 percent AMI. All units will have resale restrictions, which will include maximum sale prices, income restrictions on new purchasers, limitations on profits from sales proceeds, and asset caps. We will, be, we will vote to approve LU66, the PRC Tiffany Street application for property located at 975 Tiffany Street in my district in the Bronx. HPD seeks approval of a new Article 11 tax exemption for a period of 40 years, pursuant to Section 577 of the Private Housing Finance Law. This action will facilitate the development of a new A-story, 100% affordable building with 161 residential units in the Bronx. Of the 161 units, 24 units will be set aside for formerly homeless household, 22 units at 30% AMI, 24 units at 40% AMI, 16 units at 50% AMI, 14 units at 60% AMI, and 60 units will be rented at 80% AMI, but will be available to households making up to 100% AMI. We will vote to approve the Bethany Place application, LU-68, to extend the term of Article 11 tax exemption for property located at 301 West 153rd Street and 2091 Frederick Douglass Boulevard in Councilmember Perkins' district in Manhattan. The subject property is an existing 23-unit building. The building, which already receives a full tax exemption, is fully occupied by tenants with income ranges from 70 to 80 percent AMI. Extensions of the term of the tax exemption is necessary in order to match the life of the first position loan from HDC. We will vote to approve two building tenants, United HDFC application, LU-71, for property in, in Councilmember Rivera's district in Manhattan. HPD seeks a UDAP approval under Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and an Article 11 tax exemption under the Private Housing Finance Law for property located at 280 East 3rd Street and 230 East 4th Street. 
The properties are two-story um, multiple dwellings with 36 rental units. All units are fully occupied and targeted to households 60 to 80 percent EMI. Currently, there is no exemption provided from real property taxation, and there are significant tax arrears. To preserve the rental affordability and prevent tenant displacement while also addressing the retroactive tax burden, the current owners will transfer the properties to the city. The city will then convey the properties free and clear of the tax arrears to two building tenants United Housing Development Fund Company, HDFC. Under the new regulatory agreement, the HDFC will preserve and rehabilitate the buildings and continue to provide affordable rent stabilized apartments. We will also vote to approve CHS CSH Applications LU72 for a 40-year tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law for a property located at 752 McDonald Street and 1638 Broadway in Councilmember Appy Samuels District in Brooklyn. These two buildings are part of 32 Building CSH Corporation for Supportive Housing Portfolio that entered into a new regulatory agreement at HPD in 2015. The Article 11 tax exemption for these two buildings will replace a different type of tax exemption, a 420C that was erroneously applied. The exemption will last for 35 years from 2015 and to be with a new regulatory agreement. There are, are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? No, so I just want to point out, um, there's a project in my district, um, a PRC project at Tiffany Street. Um, just this month alone, I approved 200% affordable buildings that amounts to 275 units. Uh, 1490 Southern Boulevard, which includes a 30% homeless set aside, uh, which gives you 34 units. And PRC Tiffany, which is a 15% homeless set aside of 24 units, amounting to 58 units for the formerly homeless. Both projects at 50% homeless set aside higher, are higher than the mandatory minimum. And you'll continue to hear from me to repeat this commitment over and over again, because I firmly believe that each and every one of us as council members needs to be part of the solution to solve the city's homelessness crisis. So I urge my colleagues to join me in this commitment as new projects come through your district. And I want to thank uh, Chair Kalos, who has been an, uh, an advocate and who has been helpful and who has been working with council members uh, to seek deeper affordability as their projects are coming to their district. So thank you, Chair Kalos, for that. Um, any other comments? No? With that, um, please call Lee Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Deutsch. Aye on all. Gibson. Constantinides. Aye on all. Kalos. Aye on all. King. Aye on all. Ku. Aye on all. Lanceman. Aye. Richards. Aye. Torres. Gordenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Moya. Aye. Rivera. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Congratulations. Um, and I'm excited about my project in the Lower East Side. I vote aye on all except for land use number 66. I abstain. By a vote of 14 in the affirmative, zero in the negative. No abstentions, all items are adopted with the exception of land use item 66, which has been adopted by the committee 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. I will leave the roll open for 15 minutes.